Good morning, everybody. Welcome to OK Ozzy. It's not OK because She's guess done. what he did? I'm Matt. Go on, admit, admit what he did. I'm going through this phase of, as you look, let me go back and rewind a step. Diane needs to be on electrolytes daily. Just okay, one that's because of the food like that she's using the, the um, loop diuretics. Well, there's two things that actually force me into that process. Money, I use Woolworths, yes. cost. So, Absolutely. cost is the biggest thing is availability. What do they have around? I'm also going through the sampling Could have phase. With the mango. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I would have had extra mango. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm um, going through and sampling different flavours to see which one she might like or won't like through different brands. You know, Powerade's <laughs> one of those, of course. So I got her the lemon lime. In previous episodes, you would have seen that I got Gross. her like a I like lime. Ribena. What, what, what do you call that flavour? She's looking at me. She doesn't like that. Black. Black carrot. That's the that's that's one. Okay. I know there's certain things that she doesn't really, really like. Then there's some things that I like her on the cast. It's like, mm, there's a lot of medical. This one's lemon and lime. Well, there's a lot I of... I there's more lime than lemon. The reason for for lemon, guys, is that there's a lot of medical stuff you have to drink. I've got a syndrome. That's lemon I've flavored. got broken body parts there's a lot of in stuff many a lot areas. Of lemon. There's a lot of lemon flavor oh. medicines, okay? Hate lemon. Apparently I'm not getting it right. <laughs> I'm sorry. You never do. I, I, I do. All my tablets I do. All you my don't need. No, I love it. It's just a few little things in there. What's That's just do? the morning ones. That's I've got five more lunch. to go for the day. Yes, if we shake oh. you, your rattle, indeed. Just get those down, you. What a morning it's been. Yatsi, did you get triple five or something? You know? No. Nah. Word score. Nah. Uh, we haven't played Yatsi for a while. We need some games in our life. In I fact, love we numbers. Do. do you I have a popular Yatsi. game? Do you have a favourite game that you play? Yatsi. Yatsi. Scrabble. Monopoly. Guess who? Cluedo. Cluedo. There's a few of those. We need to do some games. Absolutely. It's been a one of those sort of mornings oh, already. Oh, we've had to make a business call. We've had a blood test. We've done lots. It's just nine something. It's only just got nine something. Um, in fact, on the back of last night, seizures, quite <sighs> extensive again. Done. Um, it started off with absent seizures, then gone into tonic clonic with my clonic Last seizures. And there's a few Tourette's behaviours in between all of us. The neurological's are not good, but we expect this. How We're pushing Diane with so much. Every day there's a medical thing. Every single day this week there's medical. Today was the blood test. What's wrong? No vitamin C. Oh, you're a wuss. Can I give you a CBD now? In a minute. Did I get it? When am I done with that time vitamin C? I prefer the one to swallow. You don't like the chewable vitamin C? No! I love the chewable vitamin C, actually. I love the taste of it. It doesn't even take it. No. It's, it's, it's a cacophony of flavours in the morning, isn't it, really? Just right, throw some coffee. Let's good taste. Right, let's get into the good stuff. Mm. Alright, no, let's Hot chocolate for me. I have to do that. Um, I think you forgot something today. In fact, I think because of all the things that we're dealing with, administration stuff oh, one of the calls well apart from the blood test and you know there's multiple vials of that we're checking things because of all the whole Ow. electrolytes in time because of being on the fruit it can really affect the kidneys we're making sure that the electrolytes are happening because we've found the that there's certain level. tests are showing that they could be triggers into seizures or affecting more of us the eplin levels which because everything being flushed out that can so many things that have, have to be kept on going lots of things when you're on so we've had that but then oh. we have this administration call with our provider, the SDA, Specialist Disability Accommodation yes. Provider, under the NDIS. We did. You missed the good news. What was the good news today? It went straight over your head. Oh my God, it did too. Straight over her head. I'm coming into the bathroom because I'm just going to show you a space. This space. It's set up for a shower. We obviously have things like seizure detection stuff. Or that's all fine. So we've recently had the bars put into here for the toilet. Okay. But this is the space that Diane has been waiting a number of years. 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 That's normal on the NDIS, guys. Years to get a bar. Can you believe it? Years. And why is a bath important? Hygiene. First and foremost. Person who goes to the toilet 35 times in a day. Dab. Pain relief. Dab. Okay. Absolutely. Just the ability to, to be able to soak, to Dab. be able to get the, the massaging effect, the heat, the heat 
helps with bowels. It help, helps with pain. Oh, my, oh yeah, my God, there's so many things. But after two news. years, it's good news. And this is actually one of the things, one of the items that we're at the AAT, the Administration Appeals Tribunal. Yeah, they Tribunal put it on to the, the SDA, the and the SDA said it's the yes. SDA provider. This SDA and Ethical SDA are responsible They're SDA so good, provider. Guys. And I'm going to say Make the name sure Y A R A M. Very yeah. good. Very happy with pick them. Pick a good provider. They exceptionally well. They're all different. My biggest thing is communication. Well, if you can't communicate, yeah, you can't do business. And they are brilliant. So and I'll also, check. they are experienced in disability. So they're not just business yep. people. Because this is what's gone wrong with the NDIS. Yep. You bring in lay people who do not know disability, and it's a nightmare. Absolutely. Because you talk to these people, and you live in total different worlds. You live in total different worlds. Yes. They don't understand your life, but these guys know what our daily living's like. So yeah, they understand. Great. They, they know pretty disability good. well. Yeah. And that's all the difference. Really? If I go back and flip it to the previous provider, <laughs> it's money. And night and day. It's the oh, dollar no. signs. I'm doing the you sign of the dollar guys? signs. Ching, ching, ching. That's all they worry about. Do disability you know, isn't a side. Yeah, oh, you know horrible. what they did? Money. You know, what they, you know what they did? Not only did they just not treat me as a disabled person um, and try and sort of treat me like a normal renter um, and all disability stuff went over their head when I would talk about it. In disability um, accommodation. I literally paid off um, almost half the mortgage in two years. Yeah. Yeah. I did. And, and what did I get? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Uh, so, um, you're welcome to that provider, mm. you slimy assholes. And mm. there's a special place up there for you. Yeah. Um, well, they've got a lot of eyeballs but, on them from yeah, the Quality and Safeguards you, Commission. You're not going to get away things. with it because at the end of the day, your day will come. Yeah. Guys, just remember, when you do bad it's things, comes okay, around. criminal things, your day comes. Yep, absolutely. Your day comes. So, the positive out of it all? Yes! So, We've make got sure the bath. You, no, but what I'm saying is make sure you choose an ethical SDA provider makes all the difference. under the NDIS because it makes such a difference and day. of accessibility yep. and the things that you need for a person with disabilities, but yep. also just the paperwork as either the carer or the advocate or a family member Ow. having to deal with these people and go through all of the processes, communications, complaints, escalations, blah, blah, blah. I spent hundreds, if not thousands, of hours with these people. Let's get I'm about that to get that. Um, but the good news is we've got a quote now for getting Yay! the bath put in. So they've got the build part. The builders, the engineers are just reviewing to make sure that the slab can manage all yeah. of the, the weight bearing, which yeah, it will do so because I've seen that myself level, already. Basically, it's, it's That's like, an issue. It's just ticking the boxes it, to make sure we've done compliance. It's an apartment, right? So yeah. you've got to look at the weight of the floor, etc. So they're just going through that process. It's coming. But it's a small bath. Yeah. It's, um, it's a walking that, bath. Yeah, and it's not that much sort of really water that yeah. goes in it. What is a walk-in bath, honey? Yeah, I know. Well, what is it's it? an emergency bath. So yeah. if I have a seizure, which I've had started my seizures in showers, I've started my seizures. Um, actually, no, never in a bath before, actually. Nope, not sure. No, um, but what it has, because as you can imagine, getting someone out of a shower, that's hard enough. Okay, we have a crash mat. It's in my cupboard. Very challenging. But basically, um, he can pull me out. It's hard. But if he had to pull me out of a bath, harder, as you can imagine, right, guys? So this has a door. So what it is, is if I start seizing, you just open the door and the water just falls out of yep. the bath, goes down the drains, mm. and he can take me out. Okay. It's also right? got a larger um, evacuation pipe. Or deal so with things in the Rather than your standard pipe maybe being about that big, it's actually got the larger 50 um, mil capacity pipe. So it'll flush out water very, very, very quickly. quickly. It's also got the air jets which warm it up. So yes, because like you're lava. having to sit in so it while the, the water comes really... up, you've actually got jets of warm air, yeah. which is really good for thermo dysregulation. So that yeah. we're not going from sensitivities of different temperatures, which yes. can also be a trigger. We can regulate my temperature. And then the water comes up matching the temperature and it keeps yeah. you warm. It's got the air jets, which is going to help massage hey, the pain relief. Because with Earl Stanlos, well, Diane starts every guys, day EDS off the pain. Is oh, so not nice. Watch on YouTube. And if, you, if your child or you yourself have autism, mm -hmm gastroparesis mm -hmm. or you've been told you've got anorexia mm -hmm. okay um 
you need to get checked for Erlos Danlos syndrome, which yeah. is a rare genetic syndrome. Absolutely. Okay, and there is a test, even though it's not the DNA test yet, although they're getting closer. Um, the one that they've pinpointed that's connected, I've got, and they're getting closer to getting an actual. Yeah, because out of the fourteen different the types of EDS, mobile. only one of them, yeah. the hypermobile type three, I haven't three, been tested be for all the test, rest example, of them exactly. because I can't afford it. Yep. Um, however, in my American testing, I am at risk, which the UK Society for Erlos Danlos says actually, that, yeah. that heads is beds. So when you have what does that mean? mobile, mm -hmm. what it means is beds is your heart. A vascular EDS. Vascular EDS is so dangerous. So I have to be very careful because my heart valves can just explode. Especially with 22 q Because you're too flexible, syndrome. right? Mm -hmm. So Excellent. when when we're flexible everywhere else, it's not just Flexible in gymnastics, mm -hmm. acrobats. Mm -hmm. Our organs are flexible. Yep. Not a good thing. And you get a lot of regurgitation in your valves, in your Correct. heart valves, which is the blood flow going the opposite direction. Yeah. Um, because they're not actually closing properly. So a lot of autistics well. You've got have closing this. and narrowing a lot of the gaps without. You've got a lot of heart this. things going on for you. Yeah, it's but a lot of autistics have this. They and do, I don't actually. know if you've noticed, but a lot of autistics, autistics have died in the middle age. Yeah. And I would say, and from heart. So. That's probably what it is. I think it's about like a 20 to 25% correlation if you're autistic that you may have hypermobility or So there's BDS a check you can do, so which is the, what scale? Bateman scale. So yeah. with that, it's a check of uh, seven different points of hypermobility. So just hypermobility look it up and, and go through it. Yeah. 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 You can do it at check. home and then just book into your rheumatologist through yeah. your doctor and say that I want to be checked. A lot of comorbidities that you can get being because autistic. Because it's, look, Australia is so, sorry, I'm just going to say it blunt. Stupid, when okay. Medical, Immature yeah. about medical. They're very look at America, the school. Mayo Clinic, all of the really, years, really years behind, cutting I mean. edge. Because the fact is, it's always existed, okay. Mm -hmm. People have always suffered, but now there is actually more awareness, brings more relief, brings Absolutely. more assistance. And I tell you, it's the most painful condition. So if you want to see a documentary yeah. on YouTube, it's called. Bend or break. Yeah, good name actually. Bend or break. That's yeah, what I feel happens. like happens with you. I break because it's a connective tissue bend. disorder. It's you've got ligaments and muscles stop. and everything else that can stretch. So it that means going. joints can obviously be very flexible, yeah. but they can also pop out. So subluxation or full dislocation, and that's the thing that we worry about. In particular, we've done with ticks. You know, <laughs> motor ticks where things can flick out with Tourette's, she can dislocate with seizures, with tonic, clonic, and right, viciousness. Let's get on to some positive news. We've got lots of positive news. We're going to do some science today. Oh, guys, I have a science kit I've shown you already. I've shown them already. I'm showing them again in case you haven't seen it. She's doing... Not a kid. That's why she scribbled that part up. It oh, should be for adults. Oh, I've got to scribble that <laughs> Over no, 30. Yeah, over 30 experiments. Interesting experiments that she's going to do. And I'm going to do all of them. Now, I did... Um, how long did I do with my teaching degree? <laughs> I pulled out because I decided I don't want to teach kids. They're annoying. <laughs> Okay, it was an adjunct after you were doing psychology, so it no, was No, but when a, I went back to do teaching, component. remember? Yeah, I do. When I went back, I did six months of teaching. Yeah, not, not for you. I was in science, and I was loving it. I don't know I what you were doing. It. I know. I but for your kids, it's a different story. Yeah, I can only tolerate my own family. Like it's an autistic my, thing, I my, my kids, my grandkids, any other people's kids, yeah. I'm like... Sensory nightmare for a start. Um, just sit over there. Thank you. Okay, um, but no basically, idea why you are doing that. It was fascinating, right? We are in science class, and we were doing condensation. Okay. We had our little milk cartons. Right. And we had our little olive oil. Okay. And something else, like ice and this. Anyway, it was fun. I did a six months of a teaching degree. You probably learnt lots it was for stupid. yourself. It but, was yeah. stupid. Seriously. The strange things that she has done. Australia, yeah. lift your game for teaching. It now, was too easy. <clears throat> what? Finger, we had to put some. I've got to go to the chemist to get some. I scratched new, myself. Um, it's second EDS skin, skin. So it's, I need to get some I've second got very skin, thin skin tape. Guys. The second skin had disappeared. I went through the medical cabinet yesterday. Yes. And going, so, All right, where did you move my second you, skin? She no, I told finger. the sir. She moved it. I said, she moves things and she doesn't sure, tell me where she puts it. Because you know what, guys? Get this thing called second skin from. It's great stuff. From a pharmacy. It's clear. And, and chemist. Flexible. But I'm just saying, if you've got blisters, Put it on. You've got to burn, put 
put it on once yes. the burns settle down, not just day so I've got one. It in my walking, hiking um, um, moods. But I'm just well. saying, like it is heaven. As soon as it goes yep. on, you don't feel the sting anymore. It yep. Goes away. But someone moved it. And no, I'm... I didn't. <laughs> he did because also my medical shears. Wait, when, when in the other house? Somewhere you touched it and played with it because I know where every you single thing in my thing medical cupboard is. Moving. I can literally you go there blindfolded it. and I know where everything is. Did you not pack that for moving house? I packed that, but you touched it at some point in time. No. Because even my medical shears are gone. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. i got to go why and get some more. Why would your medical... I would not I don't know them. why you touched my stuff. Anyway, we're going to I'm replace... Very we have to get some more about it. Yeah. Because I recommend it, guys. Great stuff. Um, especially if you know anyone elderly, too, who's got thin skin. Mm. It's brilliant. You just put it on instead of a Band-Aid. Permeable, so it And um, it's just... It's brilliant. Mm, and it, it lasts in the shower for a couple of showers at least. Yep. Maybe, Let's definitely one days. at least. Yep. Um, but then you can just change it out. But it's heaven. Mm. Oh my gosh. You put it on. It? Yeah. Mm. So that's almost a I wish I had this. that when I was a figure skater. The blisters as a figure oh, skater. Oh, yeah, I bet. Oh my God. And blisters in tap shoes. Oh, oh. Yeah, no. This is this is what mum, dance mums are like, right? Oh, just. For a little bit longer. No, I need new tap shoes, Mum. No, just a little bit longer. They are expensive. The blisters. Why? I get it. The blisters. Yeah. Are you okay? You need to toughen up your They're skin like with methylated spirits, honey. That's They're your way of doing it. deep. And, you know, Dad's feet are not pretty. No. A lot of bleeding. Yes. A lot of... A lot of broken bones and everything else, too. Yeah, my Palaces. toe doesn't point the right direction anymore. No. You know it's why? It's kinky, really. Because I'm 22 Q. The guy said, my surgeon said, he goes, I can't give you a new joint for that one, like a other adults. And I was like... Like other adults, because... Sorry, what? He goes, because the children's size is the experimental. Um, you're not covered for that. And I'm yeah. like... You're too small, basically, is what it means. That's discrimination against size. You need to grow up. <laughs> no, but I'm an adult. It's discrimination. But anyway... <laughs> you need to be a real adult, honey. You need I to have be no... a big one. I've just got this gap. Yeah. A weird gap. In my, in in my toe. So when I point one toe, there's this one toe that points up. Yeah. It's dancer's feet anyway. Yeah, it is. Funny about that. But yeah, All right, so we've got science back. experiments. Are you going to do some more of your Taylor Swift friendship bracelets? I know you're wearing that too. I do them gradually, yeah. <clears> I have <throat> time. Mm. I have, guys, mm. I've not had time. Um, someone got testing, chocolate testing, on their testing, Taylor testing. Swift t-shirt last night. I'm stressed. Chocolate I've at got... midnight? Who, who does that? It wasn't midnight. Oh, it was early this morning, actually. Ah, uh -huh, there's the evidence. See? There's the evidence. It's just a dot, but right. I'm going to sard it. Sard wonder soap. Actually, okay. no, I might get like nappy sand. No, you make a paste fine. and you put it on it. Sard is fine. It's good stuff. It is good stuff. But basically, Taylor Swift bracelets, I've got four. I'm going to do some work I'm on going that. to, yeah, I can't be busy. Lift your game. She has been okay. busy. I've been busy. The trip out yesterday was pretty exhausting to get a pelvic ultrasound. They're not much fun. They're not very really comfortable. Birds. I'm, I'm, I'm settling in all of this. You're all your new babies. Zoo. Tinkerbell, the goldfish who's behind us, zoo. she's doing really well. I have a zoo. You have a menagerie. Do you want to bring the girls in? Mm-hmm. They actually spend a lot of time um, in the room, believe it or not. Of course they do. They're my friends. Bring my friends in. Hi, Tinks. Um, yes. Tinks is over there. She's happy. Oh, um, wow. She's used to her environment now, so she settled in. But these guys still settling, but they're doing great. I got this close to them, like, they one, one was there, or they both were there, and my hand was there. Did not fly away, so I'm getting there. They are getting their so, confidence, they're getting used hi, to us. Hi, girls. How you going? They love Willow the cat because they oh, just yeah. interact with him every they're day. Used they to dogs tease from him. where they come from, so. What are you doing? They are used to what him and they think that he's hello, pretty hello. funny. Right, right. Where is Willow? Yes. So their cage was cleaned out hi, yesterday. Girl. They love their cuddlefish, hi, which is really good for their calcium. They need a lot of that. Oh, my gosh. Jasmine. Jazzy, she is so into cuttlefish. And here he comes. Oh, look, she's dropped them all down there. Look, look Jasmine, they're <laughs> on the ground. There's not much use putting the cuttlefish yeah, like on how the ground, are you supposed guys. To nibble on it, sweetie. Yes, Willow, he gets very jealous. No, He's jealous of the birds. There for you. He's very jealous. Well, You're still loved. There for you. Okay, and in the food chain, who's number one? Sir? Sir Junior, who's number one? You're number one of the food chain. Excuse me. You would eat the bird, the bird would eat the fish. Am I right? No. 
You know, am I right? Would the birds eat the fish and the cat eat the birds? Birds eat fish, yes. Okay, so the cat birds would eat birds. the fish and the bird, the, the cat would eat the birds. It's the food, chain. it's the food chain cycle of life. Anyway, it's just my sign. So <sighs> sorry, now, I don't mean to be. We've also got the IKEA yeah. cabinet that's been approved to go into the bathroom um, because where friendly. Diane has to operate in the toilet space, there's actually nowhere close by to actually put stuff that she actually needs. So that's where that's earmarked to actually go in. So we're waiting for yes, a handyman to get that sorted out to yeah, do the so installation the, of I that. I choose the cupboard, which was wonderful. Um, so I chose a cupboard that fits my stuff measurement wise and everything and the right amount of shelves. Um, it's got mirrors on it I noticed. I don't really need that but anyway it's a bonus. Yes, it yes. makes the room look bigger. That's but why anyway. you got it because it does open up. Mirrors are great because yeah. they do open up small spaces. So they spaces. bring that up when they can. Yes, so that's um, to be done as well. It's a small, it's not a, not a small one it's but storage. it's actually like a lightweight one. It's not deep. It's quite, so it's only a narrow one. It's kind of for medical stuff. Hmm. So. What's wrong, Willow? You're sitting on the chair very weirdly there, sir. Well, it's because he's getting close proximity it, to the birds. He's like, he just likes yeah, being really close to him. them. Hello. I think he is your protector. Yep. Yeah, he's he's invested. Aww. Oh, no, he was a little bit too invested at five o'clock this morning when he went what? to say so hello tiny. to the birds. And it's like, can we like, just like, woke you up, we'd, didn't we'd it? just like to get some he sleep woke today. You up, didn't Feeling a little yeah. bit tired today. My yeah. arm is. Dead. You, I need he to get needs to. to make you doctor crooked. <laughs> you're crooked. You're crooked. No, no, no. You, seriously, you're crooked. That's right. It's okay. Yeah. Is so I need back? to get another cortisone injection in my elbow. It's big, doesn't it? Stand back. It does not look big. It's Come because you're back. small. It's you're, you're teeny tiny. Can't fit in that way. That's why. <laughs> and what, what are you yelling at? He's yelling all the time since the birds arrived. He's got He's, so many stories about the birds. He has so much to say. <laughs> He does, actually. He... So I have a zoo. So if you can think of anything else, I can get. Tree frogs, bearded dragons. Yeah, but it's just. Butterflies. Oh, I've always loved the butterfly enclosure. Wasn't it Singapore Airport that had the butterfly room upstairs? Yes. So when we had transitions through yes. one of that, we, spent we got to do hours, that. That was beautiful, that. Um, at Singapore Airport on the way there, but on the way back, we, we didn't, didn't have, have time. time. On the way back, we were running. You know what it's like for connection train. flights? To, yeah, to get to the connection flights. I think flight. we had literally 12 and minutes to get so, from so A to B. And it's like, I was and you like, try and do that with someone with disability. Uh, I can't do this. Yeah, in order to some executive functioning. Change. And if you miss the flight well you missed the flight. missed the flight yeah not good so anyway we ran but the butterflies were beautiful but on the way there we got to spend time didn't we and Absolutely. they had like movie chairs where you could lay back and watch tv um it's great they airport McDonald's. they really we do think McDonald's, well we? about the design and they cater for the uh, passengers going through mm -hmm. it you know they also have what a swimming pool at the top i <laughs> do actually which i said to hotel you and, um, we could pool. do that mm. but we didn't pack our bathers in our bag but I did suggest, you know, we could buy some bathers. Well, you could have gone to the duty free and bought some yes, bathers and then gone to the pool and yeah. had a swim. And... I was tempted to go to those shops and buy bathers and go for a swim. Yeah. Absolutely. It is good to it be able to break up long distance flights as you go But as well. coming into Singapore is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that golf course. Yeah. Are so, you kidding me? I know the golf course is amazing. The golf Perth course. Perth Zoo, I was just going to say, used to have a butterfly enclosure. They don't have that anymore. What? Do you remember the butterfly enclosure? Yeah. No, no, you're, you, it's, it's gone. Well, it's not there now. Is what? it a seasonal thing? Like, no. If it's a seasonal thing, let me know in the comments below. But no, it's I permanent. Don't, I think it's no longer there. I think they removed their butterfly enclosure That's a disgusting. few years ago. What why why? would they do that? I don't know, but that was really nice it to be able to walk through and be able to see those, those pins. The pins. You and your pins and butterflies. I don't well, my parents there. have traumatised me for life yes. with butterflies and pins in them. That's, that's As true. As an autistic kid, guys, yeah. look, my love was animals. Mm -hmm. I grew up in the country in my beginning years. So, of course, by, by heart, I'm a country girl. So, basically, you know what I made my parents do? <laughs> We were on our way there to permanently live because my grandparents Kingdom were already there. Down south, yeah. yeah, we had the trailer. Western we were Australia. driving along. My mum and dad and like my brother and I in the back back seat of the car. Anyway, we hit a bird. I scream, and they're like, "Why is she screaming?" 
because they're just thinking now we just get a bird it happens you know driving in the country and i'm like we've got to go back we've got to bury the bird we've got to check the bird is it dead because they said it was so that's why i wanted to bury it so anyway we we turned around I mean, it took a bit of convincing. We turned around and we got like in a, in those days. Remember the milk cartons with the 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 yeah. the, the cut that were cardboard with cartons. with with um wax yep. on them. And Get anyway, the you open them up. Anyway, we slid the bird in. We did. That's the coffin. Okay. We dug a hole. Yep. What? <laughs> and we put the bird in. Yeah, and you're three years of age. Yeah. And they they were like, <sighs> this child's weird. And, and when I was on the hobby farm, I mean, I was just talking to the animals. And until Steve Irwin came along, I think they were a bit concerned. Yeah. Now it's cool to talk to animals, apparently. Now it's cool. It but anyway. when I was a kid, they were like, how's she going to get by in society? She talks to animals like they're people. Yeah. She's weird. <laughs> right, Miss. So apart from that, is there anything I else that we're doing? I miss my horse. We haven't got room for a horse in the apartment. I I'm want a horse. telling you that right now. The balcony? No, no room. No room even on the balcony. Ah, so we've got some educational science things to do. Yeah, we're going to do got some. some no, look. Screw bracelets. education. Screw education it's right now. Fun. I'm 50. I'm done with that. Okay. It's for fun. It's all for fun. It's all for fun. So got some if you like science, um, you will be seeing some videos. Haven't you also got some mini soon? MGAs to finish off? I do. Off? I've got two mini. Oh, you're working, you're so behind. Oh, and that's not going to be the only minis, don't worry. Yeah. I always buy more, but I've got two at the moment that are the mini make it food. Oh, cool. I like the ones. Yeah. So do I. Yeah. As long as there's no double ups or hypertrophications. Yeah, it happens, you know that, guys. It Just it. know what happens, yeah. Um, so, is there anything else on your agenda for today, apart from me going to the chemist um, and getting some fix them all? What day is it today? Today is Tuesday, ma'am. Tuesday. You haven't seen your seizure video. It's probably worthwhile you having a look at that because it's always useful for Diane to go back and have a look Weird. at what she, the experience was. She remembers she's like not conscious, not aware during a lot of the time, even the, the build-up before and sometimes even afterwards. I don't like um, it. We report all this yeah, information really onto our medical yourself. practitioners and the team. There's things in it that you don't yep. remember. And I'm off to the hospital easy. tomorrow for an administration meeting for a couple yep. of hours with the Connect team. That's the complex needs team that manages. I'm not going because I'll just punch them in the face. Yes, they have not because, been doing a very um, good job for a long time. They are putting my life no, at risk, guys. I have to get myself to going down to sort um, a few things They're not out. handling 22Q very well. No, because there's no special to use. Okay, and my geneticist has already like, pushed three times. She can't do it She's anymore. frustrated with them. The GP's frustrated um, with them. The GP's frustrated. So yeah, it's just corruption at the moment, guys. Care is not it's, good it's, it's about money, and I don't know if you've yep. seen in the news, um, but in Perth recently, a, a poor family suffered a really bad, like worse than my, what I'm dealing with right now. Um, they lost their child. Yeah, okay, never it's lost disgusting. So, so I'm so, West Australian Health Department, Mr. Hunt. No, wrong person. So the Samba Jane Sanderson's a health minister for WA. Okay, you do. No, you did nothing for me for three goddamn years that I've spoken to you. Okay, and this little boy did not need to die. You, your mm. fault. I'm sorry, but certain it is things, because I have, change. I have raised the red flag, and I bet you there's more than me out there, mm -hmm. Amber. Okay, get on to it. Mm -hmm. That family does not. It's so sad, guys. Our medical system. Yeah. And I keep telling you, and I get challenged in Again, the comments, especially but I keep telling you, complex and rare conditions every time. Or with children that can't talk. Absolutely. I'm just saying. Cut the crap out. The medical system is corrupt. It's after freaking money. Amber yeah. Jane Sanderson. Amber Jade Sanderson. Jade Sanderson. Get your shit Help together. I'm right. sorry, get your shit together. You allowing people to die. Yeah. More on testing, your system. better testing. Okay. Better You're access. allowing that people to, to be That's the starting point. And I am so devastated for that family. Yeah. I really feel for them because I know, because I'm in that oh, situation. Firsthand. That's what we do. They could kill me. Ourselves. Fact, okay, if they don't vigilant. change their way of dealing with my 22Q. Well, it's taken 49 years for Don to be diagnosed shorten, for a complex chromosomal it could disorder. My, it's ridiculous, isn't it? If it's, it's shortened my life by 10 years. Mm, or more. Or more. Let's be real. That's what the we The neglect. So, Amber. Answer, Get your shit yeah. together. Thursday, you're seeing your lovely GP of eight years. You yep. have an hour-long appointment. Well, and Friday, a, you have a uh, telehealth appointment. He's a doer. He doesn't just 
you pretend to be medical, like most specialists. Yep, but you're a respiratory specialist, so you talk to you on Oh, I Friday did. He's well. funny. The guy He's... with the bow tie. I'm going to see what, what colour do you reckon he'd be I wearing? reckon he'll be blue. Just my guess. He changes the colour every time. He's so sweet. He has, Such a, few, a, sweet... He has a few bow ties up his sleeve. He's really nice. Drink, probably. Not all of them are bad, guys. Yeah. Not all of my specialists are bad, but I'm no. just saying, like, the hospital overall is just stupid. Hmm. And we like, certainly are stupid. in... Um, Their system is stupid. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in winter mode here in Perth at the moment. It's, it's damn it's cold. really cold last night. We need to get some extra you blankets You know what? In. I really... And I know someone else on social media, another Aussie vlogger, she's hmm. super cool, um, said it. I am over winter. Already. Already. <laughs> it's only just and I, you taking know us a long time I to get to it. Remember and I was saying it. to you? I think I might have said it to you guys. I can't wait for winter. I want to wear my Who hoodie. Says that? I want to be snuggled up. Take it all back. Take yeah, it all you back. You should say that. She okay, I want to go to the beach. Sensory nightmare. I want to swim. The noise. I want summer. The cold. Anyway. Heavy clothes. It is what it is. Bring on summer again. You We're waiting have, for it all. You've got to have variety. But nice. we have to get out and do some winter activities. So yeah, we're going we to have to rug you up and we're take you out. We're still going to do activities. And we're going to take you out and do, do some do, things. Yeah. Or winterize. She's going to be bundled up with multiple layers and we're going to take her out. We'll go places, but yeah. We've, we've got just stuff to do and we've got winter. places to go. Indeed. Winter appropriate places. It's going to be winterized. Yeah. yeah. We'll just go to things that can be done in winter. Um, but at the same time, guys, my health has just been a bit... I think since the move, as you can imagine, I'm still recovering. We've had a few teething problems moving in here yep. that have exhausted me. So Quite when a I few gather too my many. yeah, a little bit too much, and when I gather my energy, yep. exploring will be happening. Absolutely. So not just science, not just those mini balls. <laughs> Small anyway. balls, honey. Yeah. Oh dear. Anyway. I will be exploring other places because guess what? I mm. actually live in a really cool area, so Lots it's very to touristy. Do. So it is very I'm going to be a tourist in my yeah. own. That's own what you should do anyway. State. If you haven't tried yeah. it already, go for tourist route. You might have lived in a place for 10, 20, oh, 30 years. Do it. Go Did down to your local tourist area and see what's Perthians. around. You might find some things that you don't even know exist. Perthians. Mm. Perths. Perth. What do they call us? Perthians. Or Perthites. Yeah. People born in Perth. Yep, sand, sand crackers, know, basically. That's what we right? actually called the name. Well, number one, we all know about rat nest got turned into rot nest. Because they called the croc... Isn't that terrible? They it's called the them rats. the Dutch name for a rat. is a rot nest, a little island. It's a Dutch name. Oh, rot nest is... Well, that's cool because they've got Dutch in me. That's cool. Yes. I like that. Yeah. I approve. Go the Dutch. Yes. That's why it's called New Holland, Australia, originally, before it became Australia. Okay, well, that's approved. It depends All on right. who discovered so us basically, first. Basically, the quokkas are super cute. Yeah. Um, but I'm just saying, like, there is so many places to discover here. Absolutely. But what you need to know is the Perth Mint, mm. right? I mean, the Mint he he Heist. Is that the Perth Heist, Gold Heist. Gold Heist. That was funny. Mm -hmm. Okay, those little buggers. Um, my stepfather went to school with... Mm-hmm. Or knew them or something. Yeah. Those boys. It's a small place in Perth. But you've got to watch that movie. It's good history of, of Perth, I guess you could say, of like, I guess the underbelly crime side mm. of what they did. Um, but basically, the Perth Mint, what it's built out of is the limestone from Rot Nest. Yep, absolutely. Most of the colonial and buildings were actually built. And I think the prison as well? Yep, the, the uh, Fremantle prison. prison. And the Roundhouse. A lot of the. Wow. The original colonial buildings here cool? in Perth were actually made from limestone. From I want to live on Rotness. Mm. It's a lovely place. Because guess what? I can't drive. So, Rotness, guess what? I know that you don't like cars there. Cars are banned right in Rotness, unless people are they working there. The, the, the rangers cars, and yeah. that. The rangers, the rangers and that. Yeah. And the police. But basically, I just want to say, I've lost my driver's license, Rotness. Not because as in my... I can't find it, but she's not allowed to have one because... Not because I was drinking, because of my no, epilepsy. Not but what I'm saying is... I can't drive, so it'd be really cool. I can't even ride a bike anymore, but I don't have put training wheels on it, though. Maybe they have those, um, like... Adult tricycles. Okay. Adult tricycles, Adult yeah. Tricycles. That's probably a good idea. So, can I, live, can I live there, okay. please? I know that there's, like, a number thing that can there live there. There are restrictions, there. yep. Can I live there? But then you'd have to go on a boat, and maybe the seasickness wouldn't be a good thing. I'm staying there. I'm not coming back. Okay, that's fine. 
Good. And bring supplies on the boat for you. I don't need to go. Well, there's a bakery there. That's really nice. And we all love a country bakery, don't when we? When I went there with mum, and mm. we used to camp, right? Yes. With my brother and my mum and I. Mm. And we used to camp. Real rough at camp, right? No glamping crap, okay? Camping. My brother and I had to take turns to go to the bakery and get breakfast. Hmm. Ho, ho, ho. You know what we used to have for breakfast? Well, I know particularly I did. Was finger buns. Oh, icing on yum, it. absolutely. And this was the traditional type bakeries, mm -hmm. the good bakeries. Anyway, yes. We if need you more ever good come to bakeries. Perth, go to Rottnest. Definitely. Mona, if you have not been to Rottnest, go. Way to go. Is Maybe we Mona's can go one with of our you. I don't know. But I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you got to go. Yep. It is just epic. Okay? you got, you, you got to go. Things to do on your bucket list. Mona's Indeed. just a special friend of mine. Sorry, hi Mona. Yeah, exactly. Well, guys, thank <laughs> you for, for joining us in our little morning vlog as we get just ourselves ready for the day. Our catch up in our coffees or Blood hot test chocolate. Is done. Yay! You can take that bandage off get... now, by the way. No, it was a bit of a bleed at this morning. It was a bit of a, a squirt, wasn't it? Yeah. But today, I don't know what I'm doing. I, um, I play it by how my body goes. So yes. I'm actually feeling okay. So. Oh, thank God for that. Touch wood when we say that. She felt she, good yesterday until she I fell over in her seat. Yeah, she was not doing really good yesterday. So it's a bit of a recovery day today. Yep. <sighs> I'm waiting for the next episode of Star Wars The Acolyte to come out. I've watched the first two episodes of that. <laughs> I know. You were. <sighs> don't be worried about Lucy The birds and Willow and I were watching it anyway. Oh my so god, he's so attention seeking. Oh my goodness, my baby. And as for you guys, well, my you know, baby boy, you're ready to start the day as well, aren't you? Ch life. Chirping away. Yeah. Guys, please give us a big thumbs up. We'd love to hear you in your comments. So, comments and questions baby. below. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. Um, hit that notification bell. As Diane says, goodbye. Goodbye. And we'll see you in another guys. episode soon. Bye, Cheers. guys. Bye. Cheers. You two are ridiculous. <laughs>